So it's just you, man. Man, what what was done? What was done to, to warrant hatred of me? Nigga, you took a two week trip to Costa Rica. Oh, who? Nah, man, I was uh, I was on a um, a Bible retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but this real record shit on this camera. <laughs> I was at a, I was at a Bible retreat and um, you know we were just out there trying to. You know what they say about church girls? Yeah. That's who he was on the retreat with. Nah, I, I heard that they'll let you fuck it, just might cost a bit. Hundred hundred fifty dollars. The going rate out of the country. The going rate in Norfolk for pussy is like forty dollars and an eighth. This is a really let you fuck for an eighth. Yeah. Eighth is only thirty dollars. <laughs> Who eighths? I know a couple. Anyway, I know, <laughs> I know a couple <laughs> niggas. I, gonna say, I know a couple niggas. I gonna say the right name. Anyway, so shout we out back. to y'all. <laughs> we back. Another week, another episode. Hiatus Feel, over. Feels great, man. We can't we can't flood y'all, man. That's why we give y'all hiatus. Yeah. We give y'all breaks for y'all to really catch up on the material we dropped on you. Yeah. As you can see, well, you can't really see. Um, this nigga can bend his legs now. Pause. That shit, that shit, that shit, that But I'm back, baby. Pause. Almost. <laughs> Big pause. Yeah. This nigga. But yeah. I'm back. We all, we almost all the way back. It, it is I, I, your man, your host, one half of the BYOB family. Mr. Plantain Poppy himself. That's what they call him now from Costa Rica. <laughs> Mr. Plantain so Poppy himself. you fresh out of Costa Rica. I'm your boy, Regular Ja. Oh, man. Uh, I go by the name of AO80 Proof, man. The Majesty of Marijuana, the Prince of Pot. I'm going to find some new aliases for y'all, though. I do a lot. <laughs> a whole lot. By the way, this nigga's not regular. He's rich. He's regular rich Ja. Sometimes, yeah, he does do a lot. Sometimes the nigga even does the most. <laughs> I do the most sometimes. <laughs> you gotta do the most to get out of life, man. So. Man, vacation was cool though. Shit, this shit looked dope as a bitch. It was, it was much needed. Always, always. I need another one. Quick. That's why you usually feel you come off vacation. <laughs> so when you come off a vacation back to regular life and you realize how trash regular life is. Oh, look. Like, my nigga, I need another vacation. Like, Here's right my there. tip to y'all. If you're gonna take a vacation, the day that you get back, make sure you take that day after off from work, too. Because nobody wants to go to work fresh off of... I did that. That's stupid. <laughs> I did that. And that shit still sucked when I came back the next shit day. Sucked. <laughs> no. But, yeah. I mean, it was cool. I mean, it would have been cool if I would have had a little shorty with me. Yeah, definitely in Costa Rica. Yeah. The but, vacations. But joints get it twisted. Like, you got to... Like, you Like, when you go on vacation with somebody, like... Oh, we just jump right into it. <laughs> we gonna jump right into it. <laughs> when Good. you go on vacation, there's a certain etiquette, <laughs> like that you have to have. There are policies and procedures and rules that must be followed. Yeah, it's like yo, it's it's, it's not mandatory because, like I said, a woman does what she wants with her body. But I'm not taking no joint on vacation that I'm not smashing. So on, that on that vacation. So that's the topic of discussion. Let's get into it. Are you taking? A woman, or we'll flip it for the women too. Are you going to pay for a man to go on vacation with you, and they not giving up no sex? Or what? Well, I ain't going to ask that dumbass question. No, ask it. No, I was going to say, or, or will you go on vacation with a nigga that you went? Yes. Yeah. No, nah, but you know, some some nah, women won't. No. That's that's a good question too. Will you go on a vacation with somebody? They're going to fund a vacation, and will you go on the shit knowing that you're not going to fuck them? Because I ain't going to lie, a lot of. Some shit's just naive. They think that a nigga's not gonna wanna fuck. That's stupid. <laughs> it's not naive. That's stupid. Bro, they think like, oh, this is my best friend. Let me. There's a lot of fucked up parts to this situation. First of all, niggas, don't invite women on vacations if you're not already fucking them. That'll solve the hassle right there. I'm not spending $1,000 for you to fly out. Stay in this hotel with me. Then I got to buy your food. I got to buy your liquor. And we ain't been fucking for the past six months. Like, uh, a person who shall remain anonymous. <laughs> well, you already know. This nigga said either she fucking or I'm fucking. But not in the rape situation. Like, not like yeah, 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 the rapey no. way. He we, was don't saying, we don't rape. We don't condone. Yeah. 
So, but his way of saying those words was, all right, bitch, I'm going to spend this $100. I'm going to call something to the room, and I'm going to fuck her. In front of you. So you got two options. You can watch me fuck her, or you can leave <laughs> while, I, while I get my rocks off real quick. When you go on vacation, you plan to fuck. <laughs> you plan to fuck. Even if you're going out of town with your homeboys, you're trying to run into something at the club just to hit for one night while y'all out yeah. there. Like, you trying to fuck. That's not me. That's not what I was That's doing. not what I do either. Yeah, I, I was Speaking just, in terms of general people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, when I, like I said, I was on a Bible retreat when I was out there. So yeah. it was just a bunch of prayer and, you know. Just, you probably committed a lot of them sins that's in the Bible too. No. Fornication, lust. Fornication with whom? I, I didn't have no bae. If you know, you know. <laughs> Push your T. If you know, you know. If you know, you All know. All I know is my nickname out there now is Plantain Poppy. Plantain Poppy. <laughs> I'm never calling you that shit. <laughs> I don't care if I go to Costa Rica with you. I'm never calling you that shit. <laughs> Every light-skinned nigga want to be drinking, call themselves something Poppy. Champagne Poppy, Plantain Poppy. These niggas. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, but on a serious note, man, like... Who the fuck is funding a vacation for somebody that they not intending on sleeping with? Yeah, sucking niggas. This is true, and there are a lot of y'all out there. Y'all niggas do a, a lot, lot of, of they do a lot of sucker shit. Yeah, like, a lot of sugar daddy niggas doing that too. But like, most of them probably can't smash no more. But these young joints is how you think they getting to Dubai and shit? Like they, they them niggas in Dubai pay for them bitches to come over there, but they do some nasty shit to them when they get there. They be pissing on yeah. them. Yeah. All kind of shit. I mean, hey, whatever it takes to get to Dubai. So you gonna let, you gonna let somebody piss on you for a flight to Dubai? A woman? Yeah. <laughs> All expenses paid vacation? Yeah. These people in Dubai got money, fam. I'm not gonna say I'm, I would let a woman piss on me to go to Dubai, but I'm also gonna say not gonna say that I would not let a woman piss on me to go to Dubai. <laughs> They send you the itinerary right now, like, yo, boom, this is your itinerary, but the only way I'm sending this shit through is if, as soon as you get off the plane, you come in this bathroom, <laughs> let me do what I gotta do. I mean, I've been squirted on before, so it can't be too much worse. It's the same shit. Yeah, it can't be that, so. I mean, this nigga drank squirt, so I guess getting pissed on ain't, <laughs> ain't gonna hurt you Wow, this nigga put all my personal <laughs> business in this street. <laughs> your niggas ain't your niggas, man. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I can't see me uh, taking no. I couldn't. I can't do it. Not, like, like I said, that's me. If I'm not already, if we not already fucking, I'm not even asking you to go. No, that's the best part about vacation is having sex in random places. Yeah, and, like that's the best part of our vacation. Like, hotel sex is clearly the nastiest sex you can have, and you yes. got to clean that shit up. Yes, I mean we won't in a hotel, but this thing is fucking in the rainforest. Yo, and I zip line upside down. Like, that shit was crazy. I seen that shit. It looked dope. <laughs> you can say I was crazy for doing it, but it's like, bro, if I'm going to fall, it don't matter which fucking way I'm facing. Like, you go, yeah, it's dead, bitch. I'm dead. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm like a thousand feet in the air, literally. Like, we in the clouds, dog. That shit was so fucking high. Like, if I fall... I mean, I at least if you're upside down, you can see something to grab onto. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> you're definitely going to die. <laughs> What the fuck I'm gonna grab? By the time I get to anywhere near where them trees and shit is at, like I'm finna. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let me show you what shit was looking like from my perspective. He was probably gonna drop the picture in here, y'all, for the for the for the audio video. Yeah, so they can so they can see what the fuck I look down at. Why he looking at that? I'm gonna give y'all a tip. Shower sex it's is trash. okay. That shit is trash. Shower sex is typically trash. However, if you have shower sex in a hotel in a handicap accessible bathroom, that shit is lit. Because the handicap accessible bathrooms always got, got bigger rail, showers and, and they got, got the, the place where you can sit down on the joint. It's my life tip for y'all. So start booking handicap accessible rooms if you plan on fucking in the shower. And don't grab the towel rack. That's just not going to end well not, for you. That shit is coming out the wall. Definitely. I did that shit once when I was like 19. I ripped the whole shit down. I fell. <laughs> Nigga thought he was Mimi on the rod. <laughs> I fell. I'm ass naked on the ground. I'm looking up. The bitch is laughing at me. Like it was. It was all bad. It was. It was terrible. I finished beating though, but it was terrible. My knees and shit was scuffed up. But yeah, bro. 
Look how look how far down the closest tree was. And you see how tall the trees is. Oh, you're gonna die. No matter which way I was facing. Yeah, you're definitely gonna die. <clears throat> but yeah. Um ladies, don't go on vacation with niggas if you're not planning on fucking. Mainly because niggas is creeps too. That that dude. For but your you, for your own safety and your own peace of mind. But you should already know if a nigga invites you somewhere, he got intentions like. So I'm not flying, I'm not telling you to fly to Puerto Rico so we can just go have fun on the beach. I mean, you go have fun on the beach, but I also want to fuck on the beach, too. Yeah. Now, if the nigga invite her to the DR, just don't go. Yeah, you, you might not come back. I, I, not come back. I, just, I, I just recommend not going, because that's... That shit's just not safe all around the board right now. Don't let people from online fly you out if you're not fucking, either. See too many of these stories on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Yo, like, this flower shit is different, though. These chicks is different on this flower shit. Like, they know some niggas is so, so suckified that they'll have a nigga fly them out to their town to go kick it with other niggas that they know <laughs> in their town. I'm going to tell you something. Look, nigga, this is what you do. That's why you book a one-way ticket each way. You get her there. Make sure she act right while she there. She act right while she there. You send her home. You get there and you don't act right. Well, yeah, you give it a boot. I hope you find your own way home. Cancel the ticket on the way back. Yeah. And now I got a credit with Southwest. I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> it's above me. <laughs> it's above, <laughs> it me, now. above me now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Kyle's line. Ladies, he would, he would definitely <laughs> take you to France. And he's not expecting any kind of sexual favors in return. I'm not taking you to France, bitch. It's just not happening. <laughs> He's taking you to Paris, to the city of love, and he's going to let you have it your way with no no sexual uh, favors involved required. Y'all got to stop letting John lie to y'all, man. This shit is out of control, man. Every time, man. Every time this nigga lying to y'all. I'm just saying, man. I just, I, I just want to give the hopeless hope. They probably want to be NBA give, niggas for that shit. I just want to give hope to the hopeless. That's it. That's exactly what you're doing. Because you're hopeless for me. <laughs> you shit out of luck. Up uh, shit's creep without a paddle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. Some Yo, random NBA. Let's jump into some NBA shit. Too. Yeah, we got shit. a lot of just, shit. Yeah, we missed just, so much shit. We got a lot of shit to cover. So Kawhi broke the fucking internet. Definitely did. That nigga made. I think Kawhi forgot free agency was going on for the first couple of days, fam. Yeah, he was fucking... I don't even know what the fuck... What you think this nigga was doing? Fixing his 97 Bronco or whatever the fuck it is that he <laughs> This nigga was probably tuning his bike yeah. up. I mean, an actual bicycle. Like, <laughs> like, like on some Jody shit. Like, he had the bike upside down in his garage and shit. Kawhi a sociopath. <clears throat> I fuck with him. The nigga ball his ass off, but I can tell a sociopath when I see one. I was, I was surprised, nigga, because they said he talked to Paul George and they made up the plan to, to play with each other. I was like, this nigga talks to people? <laughs> and Paul George of all niggas, like, Paul George is the nigga that, like, he party. Like, he, yeah. like, he be kicking. He out shit. there, yeah, PG-13. <laughs> so, that shit wild. The Lakers got a wild, wild roster. What's good, baby? <laughs> Yo, no, the Lakers went from having just LeBron. I'm talking about after the trade. Just LeBron and AD to having a fucking team with they a bench. A team with a bench. Like a solid bench, too. You got Rondo, Danny Green, LeBron, Kyle Kuzma, AD. You got Boogie. Um, what's the young boy name from Golden State? Quentin Cook. Cook. Got Quentin Cook. They got JaVale McGee on the bench. Like, they got a squad on them. Yeah, um, they... Since we on the podcast, y'all can quote me as saying it's the Warriors are not making the playoffs next year. And I'm not a Warrior hater. I can just look at the situation the way this shit played out. They're not going to make the I think that's a stretch. They ain't going to make the finals, but I, I, I see them making the playoffs. They're not going to do it. Mark my words. You don't think they're going to win enough games to make the playoffs? Nope. Not in the Western Conference, man. The Lakers weren't in it this year, and the Lakers got better. Somebody not going to make it. The goals they got worse. A lot worse. Denver's out of here. Denver's still a solid team. <laughs> they still got everybody that they had last year. Nah, Denver, them, they might, I don't know. The Clippers got better, so they're going to be a higher seed. I don't know, man. It's like the Clippers got it like a black cloud over them. But then we, I mean, you never know. We'll yeah. see. The only way they're going to make it is if Westbrook leaves Oklahoma City. 
I mean, Oklahoma, if Westbrook leave Oklahoma City, they're not gonna make the playoffs, and that, that might get a Warriors a shot. If Philly can win the Super Bowl, anything is possible. I think it's mad disrespectful. <laughs> Shout out to the world champs, though you can't see it, but it's on the arm. Uh, we got another one coming this Y'all year. Y'all not too. the world champs no more. We, we, we were. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know who won the Super Bowl. Who the fuck won this year? New England, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. It's always New England. <laughs> Yo, because I ain't white. Yeah, I forgot. Tom Brady got the ultimate white privilege. <laughs> they going to win again. Uh, and then he going to retire. They going to win one more time. It's Brady going gonna, gonna to get the seven. That'd be the NFL setup. <laughs> then he going to retire. Not this year, though. Philly got one this year. Yo, speaking of white privilege... So we you, we got to touch on this Little Mermaid bullshit. Oh, shit. You know, that dick, that dick kind of feed in perfectly. I didn't even think about that shit. <laughs> we do. We got we to gotta, uh, touch on this shit, yo. So hey. is, is she not your Ariel, too? She's not my Ariel. She's not. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. And black people may hate me for this shit. Y'all already know I don't give a fucking half. Um, <laughs> that shit's stupid, man. Ariel been white forever. Nigga, like, let her continue to be white. And but, it's cool. But, dog, uh, I mean. It's cool. Like, if y'all, y'all on some, well, you know, they all created these characters white because that's all it was at the time, which I understand. But why don't we just create our own fucking characters? Like, Little Mermaid Part 2. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give black people our, we got to start our own shit. We, we ain't got to worry about taking over the white people shit. Start our yeah. own shit. The only thing that I just, I still don't want, because now they're talking about a black Batman. I'm boycotting that shit. I'm petitioning. Yeah. I don't want no fucking black Batman, dog. Like when they was talking about uh, Idris Elba being oh, James Bond. James Bond, yeah. Like, yeah I don't, James Bond has been white for 60 years. He fucks mad white bitches. So y'all gonna be mad when Idris Elba get a black James Bond position, but he's still fucking these white bitches. Yeah. You know that's everybody fucking Man Crush Monday and shit. Everybody <laughs> on Twitter. That's all they talk about. But, I mean, he gonna... I think he's secretly gonna be hitting white bitches anyway. Um, yeah, every, movie, every movie yeah, he's he in, he's bitches. like... He's from England. We know he's in white bitches. <laughs> and every movie he in, it's either him obsessed with some white bitch or some white bitch obsessed with him. Yeah. So. Uh, but no, th- picture the outrage if Marvel would have dropped Black Panther and he'd have took his mask <laughs> off and it was a white dude. I wouldn't have been shocked. Say it was Liam Nielsen, Liam, Liam Neeson. I would have been mad as a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he took off his mask, it would have been Liam Neeson. It would have been like, they had a show with Wakanda and everybody in Wakanda was white. Out of all niggas, Liam Neeson, dog, I would have been mad. They would have kicked me out. I would have broke something in the theater. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we ain't got to take their shit. They ain't got to take our shit. Let it be the way it is. And if we need to create some new role models and new cartoon characters for to go down to history we can do that we got enough influence in the world to do that uh, and this even like because i'm still on this Liam Neeson shit white people was tripping over this shit though like uh, don't get me wrong when i say I, I just gave you my point of view i'm gonna still tell you that, that white people were tripping over that shit that just it was me off, bro because now i'm thinking about Liam Neeson being black panther and i'm thinking about exactly killmonger I know who you are. I, I will find you. Somebody had to have gotten taken. And I will, like, somebody's definitely getting somebody's kidnapped. Getting like, yeah, every movie that Liam Neeson is in, somebody's getting kidnapped. Dog, I watched another movie. He was on a train. The train. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. A shit, somebody being on a plane. They won't kidnap, but he had to like find who the person was. Then there was another movie where he lost his memory and it was just like taken. Like, he had to find his identity. This nigga's always finding some shit. I ain't mad at him enough for get your money. I mean, we can't get mad, dog. The nigga from the transporter made the same movie, like, 50 times. Jason, Jason Statham. Jason yeah, Statham, like, yeah, yeah. except for Crank. Crank was that shit. Yeah. Crank was that shit. But every yeah. movie was the transporter. Even the shit that won't the tra- Even in Fast and Furious, this nigga was the transporter. <laughs> but, yeah, we got off topic. So, yeah, I mean, who... I don't know. I like... I like Pot's getting stirred up and shit, so I, I, I don't mind Ariel being White like, people was tripping, though. Like, they was really <laughs> tripping. I don't really give a fuck one way or another. I just gave you my opinion based on the situation. <laughs> but, like, white people was really outraged. Nigga, they was coming up with mermaid facts. <laughs> mermaid science. See this shit? Mermaid science. So, apparently, Ariel couldn't be black because sunlight doesn't reach deep down enough into the ocean where mermaids live for the melatonin and the pigment in the skin. I was like, nigga, What? 
my nigga. Mermaids aren't even fucking real. Her best friend was a Jamaican crab, my nigga. That, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he was a Jamaican cla- crab that was voiced by a white dude. But it was a Jamaican crab nonetheless. <laughs> like, I seen some black people saying that shit like the crab was Jamaican, so they had to be in the Caribbean, so she had to be black. Because you know all Disney movies are taken from like early historical, mythical oh, yeah. shit like that, so. You know who should they, they should make the, the crab this time? <laughs> Boozhoo Bantan. They should make, they should make Boozhoo the crab. Yo. They really want to piss white America off. They should make Boozhoo the <laughs> Picture Ursula, right? Monique. Queen Latifah. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> Queen Latifah. <laughs> Monique might work too, though. It, Monique from Precious is Ursula, though. Monique, Monique might work too, but I was thinking Queen Latifah be. Like, they look like the same person in the face already. I ain't going to lie, though. Some of the memes and shit, funny as a bitch. They was offensive as a motherfucker. They had a petition they, going around. Like, y'all really had a petition going around. The dog. I do kind of like the fact that it kind of, you know, shows that white people, y'all can't stop us. Yeah. And when I say this, white people, I love white people too. I'm not racist. But I got to talk to the racist white people that are out there. I'm kind of racist. <laughs> A little bit. I don't hate nobody, though. No, I don't hate nobody. Yeah, I don't hate nobody. I, I, hate, just, I hate racist people. Yeah. Racist white people. Yeah. But, but nah, man. It's like, uh, that mom was fucked up. But nah, it was like, the outrage is like crazy. Like you would think that, you know, we made fucking a bunch of white people, Egyptian guys, just, oh wait, they did that. Yeah. They did that already. Um, yeah. Damn. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, shut, just shut the, that's what that shit boiled down to. Just shut the fuck up. Shut but no, nah, it's like, yo, this shit gonna happen. Y'all didn't, I didn't hear all this outrage when, when Brandy played Cinderella. No, nah, they love that shit and had an Asian brother. Yeah, that shit was wild. And a white dad. And Whoopi Goldberg was the mom. Like, no, how the fuck did Nothing they? makes sense because it's a fucking fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to make sense. Y'all yeah, niggas looking in the non fiction, or the fiction section looking for non fiction stories. Like, come on, fam. Yeah, dog. And then this would happen right after that Chris Brown shit, too. Yeah. Y'all met. <laughs> and I'm not, yo, I'm not even mad at Chris Brown. I'm that not mad shit, at Chris Brown, That either. shit was 100% out of proportion. Fuck. Like, they blew that shit out of proportion. Y'all too motherfucking sensitive in the world, man. Tuck your skirts, man. Like, pull your skirts down, B. That shit is out of control. You can't say shit without people taking offense to it. Yeah, no, they try to I know y'all gonna hate this fucking podcast, but I say a lot of shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They trying to get the fuck my man's out of here. Yeah. Because he said he liked black. He liked black bitches with nice hair. But this was the same outraged group that was singing real ass bitch give a fuck by the nigga. Literally the day before that motherfucking song came out. And then they ain't even know what part of the statement they wanted to be mad at. They didn't even know if they wanted to be mad at the fact that he called them black bitches or if the fact that he wanted good hair. Well, he bitch, said nice hair. Nice hair. Not even, he didn't say good hair. He said nice like, hair. Bitch, just do your hair. That's it. Ain't, I ain't. Obviously, if you took offense, your hair is fucked up. It ain't like he said some Don Imus shit. Nappy had it hoes. Yeah, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? He just. Nigga didn't even specify what kind of hair it was. He didn't say that you couldn't have weave. He didn't say it had to be natural. You like, you couldn't just have. Nice. You just have it nice. You just have nice hair, bitch. Like, that's it. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't understand what the outrage is, but then, at the same time, my mind was different. We came from a time where sensitivity was, a, like, at all time low. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely had to have tough skin. Dog, can you imagine like Bernie Mac still being alive in this climate? Oh, yeah. No, that was the boycott of Bernie yeah, Mac, definitely. dog. He, they got him in the fuck out. Richard Pryor. But you know what? It's starting from these kids being young, man. That's what this shit all boils down to. It ain't even the kids that's getting upset about everything. It's the motherfuckers I age. Yeah, <laughs> like cyberbullying and shit. My brother was like, I'm just mad at the fact that... He had to describe them as black bitches. Why he had to describe them as black bitches? Because he didn't know their names individually. You heard Cat Williams. <laughs> I'm only calling you bitches because I don't know your names individually. See, I was saying he, had to, he was trying to clarify for the white audience. Like, I know y'all white women want me, but I only like black women. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's, the moral of that story is it don't matter what the fuck you say. Somebody gonna have, somebody it's going to be somebody, dog. You could say, yo, I like Puma. I like them new Puma sneaks. 
Niggas gonna be like, so you don't fuck with Adidas? Yeah. You, yeah. you hate Nike, nigga? Like another nigga be like, checks over stripes. Like, yeah, like, oh, my nigga, fuck. You, you don't get no money or got stripes in the hood. So what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> if you mean that shit, say that shit. The fuck? Yeah, that's it. Like, people need to stop giving a fuck about what people think about them. To an extent. I, yeah, like, mm-hmm. no. Uh, Go ahead, elaborate. Extent of, like, what? Maybe, maybe friends. You want your, you want your yeah. friends to think well. You. But, I mean, if you're just being yourself and a real person, I don't think you really had that issue, so. That's a fact, because they, obviously, your friends yeah, for a reason. Yeah, yeah, you're being true to yourself, you are, so. You know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm a very positive, uplifting. I try to be too, man. Right? Positive person, anyway. I don't offend people, so. Uh, I offend people, but again, the shit that I say, everybody knows that I'm not saying it to be offensive. You just may not like the shit that I say. That's that life, is. nigga. Like you're not you're not gonna agree with everything that come out of my mouth. Yeah, I you're mean, not supposed to. But I, I also I also um, feel like when somebody say something, stand on that shit. Yeah. Don't say something and then somebody say some other shit and now you like, oh no, nah, bro, it ain't. Nah. That ain't what I meant. No, nah, nah. stand on that shit. You said it. You meant it. If the nigga want to knock your teeth out for it, just be ready for that. Just be ready for that. You take that. <clears throat> but if I'm trying to be offensive, you'll know that I'm trying to be offensive. It won't be a question about this. Shit. Big facts. <laughs> that's so. a big fact. But that's, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's the social media climate, man. Everybody feel like their voice is that much important, more, more important yeah. because they have a platform, even if their platform is 30 friends. Yeah. I forgot who I just heard say it recently, but it was like social media giving voices to people who shouldn't have voices. Yeah. They giving voices like to me. The voice? yeah. I, y'all definitely should listen to the shit I say. <laughs> <laughs> Except on drop days. <laughs> Except on podcast drop days. But no, it's like, but even like, even shit like people get inve- emotionally invested in like reality shows and shit like that. Yeah. Shit different, man. That shit, that shit weird, bro. Like I never like when when reality you know shows was dope on our end, like Flavor of Love and shit. I never got emotionally invested in. Nah, that. you know what it is? Is that social media broke down people's communication skills? Yeah, that's it a fact. Fucked up their communication skills. So now, whenever somebody says something, they don't know how to take it, or they don't know how to respond, and it just went from there. Like it's just getting worse. Yeah, nah, that's a fact, yo. And um, that's. Let's, matter of fact, let's, let's, that's, the, that's the topic anyway. That communication shit. Because I had said some shit. Um, I said I suck at texting. Because the minute that you don't respond to my text, that's the last time we texting. Because I'm not going to. I did see that shit. That's some light skin shit to say. Nah, if it's always that though. I mean, like, if I'm. Because that's the that's the major major form of communication now. Yeah. Unless you face to face with a person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody loves texting and shit. So it's like, if that's our main source of communication, let's let's motherfucking make that shit count. Yeah. I'm not if I'm sending four texts, like in a in a conversation, I'm, if I'm actually making conversation in a text and you one word in me mm-hmm. and then I send some other shit and then you don't say nothing back, I'm not responding no more. <laughs> Because it's apparent that you ain't trying to engage yeah, in conversation. conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about if this shit becomes a pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah I ain't saying that, like, I hit her and she's at work. You know what I'm saying? And she just... That's really what he means. Exactly what he means. <laughs> nah, man. If I hit her and she at work and she don't respond, I'm like, oh, yeah, this bitch is over. Let me call, let me text her. Nah. Ja got uh, 256 unread text messages on his iPhone. Whoa. What time is it? Be that type of light skin. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's happening right now? How the fuck did this... <laughs> how did this start occurring? Nah, bro. Communication big, man. A lot of people don't know how to communicate. That's even some shit that I'm working on still in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> being being able to express. Like, growing up in the area that we grew up, niggas weren't able to express their emotions. We won't allow to. Hell no. Nah. You soft if you yeah. do that. Niggas, is, niggas at your neck if they catch you motherfucking. But now you 30, 35. You got an old lady at the house. It's like, you try to express yourself, but you don't really know how. Because that ain't some shit you did for the first 30 years of your life, 20 years of your life, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And that's what people don't understand is like, uh, communication is the key to a lot of shit. 
damn near everything. Like, yep. anything that you do in life, communication is going to be important in that. Even the fucking bill collectors is calling your phone, man. Answer the phone and tell them. Answer the phone and tell them bill collectors. Like, bitch, I ain't got it. And I won't have it until <laughs> next week. I mean, I ain't going to never have it. If I, I ain't give it to you by now, <laughs> you ain't, not I, ain't, it. I ain't got it for you. I don't know what to tell you. I got everything I need on my credit already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's how I feel about communication. Like, that's some shit that you always like to work on in life just because you got to communicate with people differently. You can't communicate with everybody the same. Nah, you oh. can't. Because a, a lot of people ain't receptive to the same shit, too. Yeah. That's why I say, that's why I just say what the fuck I feel, man. Like, I'm like I tried to tell this nigga, like, before the camera started rolling, his butler came in here, and was asking, like, <laughs> was asking, do we need, you know what I'm saying, anything? And this nigga, like, like, slapped him up. And was like, yo, don't you see we busy? Get the fuck out of here. Go make the crepes. Number one, I ain't know black people ate like, crepes at this time of night. Again, this man just spent two weeks in Costa Rica. Number one, it was not two weeks. I was there for seven days. Fourteen. I was, I was there, there for seven, seven days. days. And you were there for another seven days. <laughs> I was there for seven days. And it was six, actually, because on the seventh day, I left. This nigga Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> God talk on the seventh day, I rested. <laughs> on the seventh day, I left. What was it? Yeah, seventh day, I left. And we we was out there on the on the Christian retreat, doing Bible study and shit. Yeah, I'm sure y'all followed us, man, on Instagram and <laughs> Snapchat and shit. Y'all seen it? Don't let them lie to y'all. Photoshop. Actually, we so the jet ski we found those jet skis and we was returning them to the owner. So we wasn't actually like niggas won't really like riding the jet skis so around anyway. the island and shit. <laughs> like we was like you know we was returning them. He's a liar. They were starting to drift off, so we were making sure they went back the way they were supposed to go. Uh, mad random, just because we ain't been in a couple weeks. Had, a, had a, some good music drop these past couple weeks, man. Bingo. Had some good music drop these past couple weeks. I didn't really get a chance to listen to the whole Dreamville shit. I put it on, but I didn't listen to it like I, like I want to, like you said. Yeah, that shit just dropped like two days ago, so yeah. I ain't really get to sit with it like I want to to give a review. But next week, we're going to get one. Yeah. Um... But last niggas, week, last niggas was already was fire, like though. got a favorite song and shit. Like that's what I need to know. How do niggas do that? Like I need to know what your favorite song off the most recent album was. Because last week I think Freddie Gibbs dropped. That was fire. Freddie but Gibbs is I, Gibbs don't drop duds though. That nigga yeah. he's gonna he's consistent as shit. And he got Mad Lib like doing the production on the shit. So like you can't go wrong. Yeah. As, as crazy as a lot of people thought that shit might have sounded like Mad Lib and Freddie Gibbs, what the fuck? But it's like, if you think about it, like, they styles is actually perfect for each other. Yeah. Um, uh, who else dropped? DJ Mustard dropped the album. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Mustard album is tough. I didn't hear it. It's good. Of course, you know, he got some party tracks on it. He got, His last song is uh, a joint from Nipsey. New shit? Yeah, called Unheard. Perfect 10. Unheard. So, that's definitely fire. The Mustard album was tough. Damn. Uh, some other shit that dropped last week. Yeah, you know I Chris was, Brown dropped that triple disc bullshit. I was gonna say that wasn't an album that he dropped. He Chris, dropped a collection. <laughs> please just like stop dropping these long ass albums, Chris. I'm not. I don't have the time to listen to it. I don't want to sit and listen to nobody talk for three hours. I don't even want this podcast to go on for three hours, and y'all have to listen to us talk for three hours. I'm not about to listen to this nigga sing for thirty two songs. No, and the fucked up thing is all them shits be good, so you don't want to, like... That shit give me anxiety just thinking about it. Like, you don't want to turn the shit off, because you like, I know I'm about to miss some fire. Like, I'm about to miss the my what might be the, my favorite song on the fucking album. Because this nigga want to drop 122 song albums and shit. Can't even decide what... <clears throat> Ed Sheeran drop. I ain't hear it, though. I didn't know Ed Sheeran drop. I definitely didn't know that. I'm going to definitely check that out, though. Ed Sheeran's tough. Somebody said his shit, uh, his track list looked like a, a Gangsta Grills mixtape. Yeah. 
I mean, he has some 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 motherfuckers up there though, so I can see that. Sure. Um, um, I'm trying to see who else dropped. Oh, West Side Gun dropped. I'm gonna listen to that out on the way home. Your man's dropped, Machine Gun Kelly. Salute the hove. I'm not even gonna address that. So just <laughs> while we talk about music, just because we always got to salute the hove. For, yeah, for for whatever the fuck. Just we know for existing. did something. Yeah, we know who did something great. Just for existing, my nigga. Oh, he um, he bought the rent and fucking Kyrie to the Kyrie just signed the um Rock Nation Sports. Shout out the hove. Shout out the hove. And he bought him to Brooklyn. Shout out the hove. <laughs> so. And I ain't even a Nets fan, but shout out to Ho for that. That's big. Listen, he did something else. Somebody in some court legal shit or something. Jay Z's always doing something. So, yeah. so um, tell us, we're dropping a new album in like a week or two. This is why I don't talk to you. My nigga, hold on, I'm about to see see what features is up here. You know what I'm saying? This is. This is Taylor Swift, my nigga. Oh, the only albums I'm waiting on this summer, I need a big crit album because I know it's coming and I need the new Ross album. Uh, Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco is on one of her songs on the new Taylor Swift album. You know how fucking monumental that is? That is major. That See, is fucking major. It's hard to have friends like this in real life. That man. is major, you know, pal. Like, it's hard to have friends that like that. That is big fucking shit, man. This is that light skin. This is the white side of them coming out. Hold on. They have a snippet. Cut the podcast. Cut the podcast. It's over. That shit fire. It's hard, it's, it's hard to deal with this guy in real life, man. Y'all just don't understand this. It's stressful. <laughs> that shit stressful. is fire. It's stressful. Tell me that shit won't fire. You secretly like that shit just now. That shit was not fire. <laughs> but yo, so Ed Sheeran, it ain't dropped yet. Only certain, some songs. But this nigga got Khalid, Chance the Rapper, Stormzy. I don't even really like London rappers, but Stormzy, Eminem. Young Thug, Ella May, Her, Meek Mill and A Boogie. On the Ed Sheeran album? And Cardi B. Ed Sheeran. That's fire. <laughs> that shit gonna be so fucking crazy. That's fire. <laughs> that shit is wild. I'm definitely impressed with that. Oh, and he got Bruno Mars too on a song called Blow. I can only imagine what the fuck that shit is about. Sound wild as a bitch. Now I see why niggas said that shit sound like a look like a motherfucking gangster grills mixtape. Uh, random. I started listening. I don't know if you you might have heard of them. The the record label Griselda. It was Benny the Butcher, Conway, a couple of niggas. They they rap rap. Oh yeah yeah. They rap, I know rap. about Conway, you know. Yeah yeah. yeah so the Buffalo and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. So Benny got a, a joint with Pusher called Eighteen Wheeler. Yo, shout out to Pusha. Pusha is like Pusha been on a bunch of features recently, dog. That shit he that, that Gibbs shit? That Palm Olive? Oh my god. Yeah. Pusha ain't had to do that to me. Hometown man. love, man. Yeah. Pusha definitely been killing features recently, so. Nobody else cook rap that glamorous. None other. Yeah. Niggas can't niggas word play about that coke life ain't fucking with Pusha uh, shit, man. But yeah, shit, man. What else we missing before we motherfucking start wrapping up? That's about it, man. Oh, shout out to Kaepernick. What? <laughs> he made Nike shut down that motherfucking uh. Oh yeah, the shoe <laughs> shit. Yeah. Boy, they were mad. Yo, it's not. This has not been a good week for white people. Like for racist white people. Let me for racist white, for racist yeah. white people. This has not been a good week for racist white people. It should never be a good week for racist white people. I love it. Keep your foot on their neck, man. Fuck them. Fuck them not, man. That's about it. Yeah. Ain't, ain't too much, man. Again, we just always glad to be back. Yeah. We gonna be more consistent, man. We can keep this nigga off of vacation. And we can keep keep this man, you know what I'm saying, focused and shit. We'll be all right. So I'm gonna I'm keep him right, though. You know what I'm saying? So if, if 
just by some chance we don't we not here next week is because this nigga's not here next week because he off in some fucking foreign retreat somewhere. <laughs> this nigga with the bullshit. That's what. That's really why I went to Costa Rica. I went looking for him because I thought that's where he was. I was trying to get him back here. I was like, you know, we could just do the podcast there. But the nigga ended up being. We was in the Maldives. I was here. In the Maldives. In North of Virginia. I did have, matter of fact, though, I did have a homeboy. Shout out to Saint. Um, same time you was in Costa Rica, he was in Bali, Indonesia. That shit looked crazy. I heard that shit is too. Yeah, I heard that shit. I didn't even know about it, but when he started putting the pictures up, I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, that's definitely on my my trip list." So yeah, I think I'm gonna change my motherfucking all my social media handles to Plantain Poppy. Fuck it. I think I'm gonna do that shit. Fuck it. And I'm changing my legal name to that shit, so everybody gotta actually call me that shit. Like moving forward. So if I ever get in legal trouble, nigga, the judge legally has to call me Plantain, Plantain Pop. Poppy. <laughs> Asshole, man. <laughs> nigga legally has to call me Plantain Poppy. Smart move. I think I'm going to do that shit. <laughs> Let's get up out of here. <laughs> Any, anything to leave him with? Oh. Um, we talked about traveling, man. Travel. Take trips. Get the fuck out of your comfort zone. As much as possible, please. Uh, stop telling people Miami ain't a trip, motherfucker. If that's where they can afford to go, let them go to Miami and have their fucking fun. Just stop going to Miami six times a year. Uh, but no, get out and see the world, man. Yeah, I, I feel like if you go to, not to cut you off, but I feel like if you start going to Miami too much, you, you're going to pick up packs. Yeah, something, something going on down there. Like, you're not just going for, va- nobody vacations in one spot six times a year. Yeah. You're going to pick up some bricks or something. something. Especially if you're going to Miami to do it. Stay away from Miami. There's a lot of trouble out there. Nah, um, but yeah, man, like I said, get out and see the world, man. Get a passport. It should ring like $400, some change. Put some stamps on that shit. Nah, yeah. passport only like one something. Oh, I don't know. I bought my passport years ago. I need to see if that shit expired. I forgot how this nigga is in like in his 40s and shit. I have a passport. It shit has one stamp on it. One. Mine too. So, we about to change that shit, though. We're gonna fuck the game up. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Get out and travel. It's good for your mental health. Definitely. I ain't got no crazy shit this week. Just peace, love, happiness. Peace. <laughs>